Hello! We're live! Woo-hoo. Hi, Anna, a little late. I am a little late. Yeah, my well, bad. My okay. bad. We're, we're, I'm still having issues with trying to set up my little stream yard. I don't, I don't know. I need to make an appointment with Robin <laughs> so she can help me. <laughs> Maybe somebody in the chat can give you an idea. Yeah, I don't know. So my screen, y'all, for Renee is like the size of a quarter. <laughs> like it's it's super tiny. It's like the size of like I I we're the size of the backstage. Yeah, and like we're so, backstage. I don't, I don't know. And then of course I'm Casperish right now. The sun is. Just about to set. There's you look lovely. You look, look, look at Craig. Look at my pita already in here. Zzz. Yeah, yeah. He's whatever. Dan <laughs> Shark. So I'm excited about tonight because tonight is game night. Woo -woo. Yeah, I I texted you and I was like, I have, I have no idea what we're doing. Well. We're gonna have fun. The, so the whole had, point. So we're gonna do a little family feud style. That's what I I've done before for game nights, and I absolutely want the chat to be involved. Um, there's no prizes, y'all. I'm sorry to break it to you. You know, <laughs> maybe maybe when we start getting a whole bunch of people in the chats, uh, that will happen. But for yeah. now. There's no prizes. It's all about fun. So we're going to yeah. do like fa family feud style, ask you a question, you know, it's top fun. five it's or fun. whatever it is, we'll be, we'll be in the chat. So while I, I, we're, while we're waiting I, for people what? to start showing up, what have you been up to, Renee? Me? Yes, you. Well, okay. there's nobody else on the screen. Well, you know, I've been up here talking to Land Shark. Pick up! I yeah, what are you been up to, Peter? <laughs> so I don't know. Anyway, um, so I had I had my first Nick, uh, well, district. I was on my first district auction on Nicknacks.net, um, which is um, Crazy Lamp Ladies um, Market. Her, her her um selling platform through district.net. Yes. And um, so you have the ability to go live on any of those marketplaces. And she's very organized and they do trains very, very well. So I was really excited to, to go on and nervous. Felt like I was going to puke, blah, blah, blah. What? But, you? Yeah, really? I was, I was nervous. Plus, um, I had it all ready to go. Okay. I'm all ready to go. The night before, and it had nothing to do with my nerves, I got sick, like sick. And I had I had diarrhea. Oh no. And like oh, that, God. like like you're you're preparing for your colonoscopy diarrhea. Oh Lord. So <laughs> it was bad. And every time because I, you were nervous or because you were sick? No, I was sick. Oh, okay. So, because it kind of started earlier um, the previous day on Friday, but I was like, eh, whatever. It's, it's not, I don't feel sick. And I wasn't just my, I was having these really bad pains below my rib cage. But I didn't see anything of it. And then, um, hold on. I got Miss Press that wants up here. Let me get Miss, let, let me get Roxy. Come here, Roxy. Anyway, so. My brother is down here, was down here doing um, a tattoo. He was a guest tattooer at a, a shop down here. So I, I went to see him and I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you know, that horrible feeling. And I don't like to use a bathroom but other than my mind, other than mine when I'm home. Mm -hmm. It was horrible. But I... Joe had told me before we left, I burped. And I usually, sometimes I'm just disgusting about it. I'm just like <laughs> a dude and I'm like, Bleh. But, but I really wasn't this time. I just kind of burped. And he was sitting way far away from me. And I didn't let out any, nothing. 
And he goes, oh my gosh. He goes, did you just like burp? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. He goes, it is, smells so bad. Oh no. And I was like, what? I just brushed my teeth and everything. You're, you're just telling me that because I tell you your burps smell all the time. He goes, no. So when we were visiting my brother, we took dinner to him. We're eating dinner and I can't, I can't stop these burps from happening. And one came up and I did the same thing. Mouth closed, nothing. And my brother goes, oh my God. He goes, is that for effing burp? <laughs> and he said, it, he said it smelled like methane gas. <laughs> I couldn't stop it. And I was so sick the night before, but it, luckily I had everything done. So we get well, so so I here's here's my comment on the on the whole thing. So Chris and I both watched your knickknack show on district.net and number one it was freaking hilarious <laughs> it, it would like it that is the renee i love just you being you and i thought you did so good you you have such a wealth of knowledge of the stuff that you bring like i i thought you did just fine nerves aside i knew you were a little bit nervous only because i know you well seriously but, before but I, if you would have never even mentioned that during that live nobody would have ever noticed that you were nervous seriously before we started all right so joe's like i got like it dream dropped right or something you had an issue joe ended our live he you know he hit <laughs> in in live and I'm like, whoa, whoa, we, we got to be waiting. Holy crap. And so I go, what did you do? And he goes, I don't know. But I, he goes, I can fix it. I can fix it. I'm like, you told me you knew what to do from to begin with. So I went back in and I had to reselect all the items that I preloaded. Oh, and then, no. And then go live. And he's like, that's the wrong thumbnail. That's not the thumbnail. I said, don't give a care about the freaking thumbnail. I just need to be live. I had the thumbnail up all week. I just have to have it on live. And then whenever I popped on the screen, people were coming in and I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> you don't even know what we just went through. And, um, and that yeah, is we we looked for you and we couldn't find you at first and like i was worried i was like oh no what happened but i mean you popped up eventually i, I like, thought you did really really good i i really so, think you did excellent it was so scary and even joe i don't ever see well now you got like i i'm pretty sure jocelyn even said now you got the first one out of the way and yeah. the rest should be hi joe should be, so they can I'm gonna do the groovy, the groovy train on Tuesday, and I told Ooh, them I said, "What is that? I didn't hear about that." They do every Tuesday. They do the groovy train, and they you do one hour session, and they move it along. It goes until ten o'clock. So what is it? What is it? Uh, you, you can to? you can sell anything really, but okay. you know they. Well, they try so to how, how would how would the chat right now go and watch that? So if you want to watch um knickknacks and do their live session through do their live selling, you would go to district.net and you can actually just go knickknacks.net. It's n-i-k-n-a-x.net. It'll take you directly into Crazy Lamps Ladies um, Marketplace. And then you click join. And um, yeah, so when, and when you join, you're not you're not obligated to sell or buy. No, no. Like it's just just like whatnot, just to view if you want to do that. Right. And it's kind of like you you're kind of agreeing to be kind to one another because it's it's also not just a marketplace where you buy stuff there's different chats for sellers and buyers mm -hmm. so that have knowledge of the items that are being sold on that marketplace 
like she's really knowledgeable with glass and then there's people that are knowledgeable in there that are it's knowledgeable with um pottery so you can actually talk to people and become friends with people it's not like ebay where you know you just go buy stuff you can actually talk to the person that is you can go in and say hey i like this item but i want to know more you can click on the person's name and type them a message hey does this have any chips or cracks on it um by the way i love that other thing you've got do you ever run into the and you can actually chat with them back and forth um plus there's like seller chats mm -hmm. um id me you can put something in there and somebody you can have somebody id id it there's also a chat for um like a brag kind of bragging on what you found you know i found this at an estate sale so it's kind of it's just neat it's like facebook meets ebay yeah it is like facebook meets ebay kind of thing right i th i think it's pretty pretty cool like i said yeah. i thought i thought you did awesome and i look forward to watching more um i'm traveling tuesday but i will do my best to come by and watch um we have a few people showing up yeah um, willow i know that she Hi, said a few comments i think that she uh is she the one who said yeah she can't stay y'all but just wanted oh. to pop in and show some love oh, hey, Cheryl. Cheryl, love you sweetheart and of course we got boatman boatman, boatman. boatman is like oh he's saying hi to joe hi boatman yeah. og around here uh shelby was asking about the baby so i don't know if the people on the outside are listening if they can come in and show the baby real quick and then we'll get into the game night i don't oh, know yeah, see, everybody wants if to sleep, sleep and just flag me down Where's my baby one of my oh, babies sorry. it's frodo hey frodo <laughs> <laughs> well renee renee's gonna get to meet the baby yeah here, we're excited oh i i hear a door i hear a door i hear a door all right shelby you're getting what you wanted is you the baby so i'm actually with that the groovy train i have to Wait kick it off what? What? Here. uh hi charlie let's sit here you weren't going to meet her in person hi charlie you meet her in person He's looking around like, what is all this stuff here, Mom? Yeah. Oh, there's a bug outside of the window. That's oh. Right. Hey, Charlie. Say hi. Say hi, YouTube. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> you smell interesting. Yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe Daddy needs to address that. Who do you think? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I just got all my lips on your face. Uh oh, you got kisses on your face. Uh oh, uh -oh. Yes. you got mommy smooches on your face. Look at all these people. There's Bob hey, and Shelby and Thomas and Douglas in there. What do you think? Hey, Douglas. Douglas is so good about always dropping links. He is. He so I got I got quite a few subscribers the other night because I did a we did an auction with Kim. It's about to get real, and he was dropping my link, and I finally made it past a thousand eight hundred. And I'm like, Douglas is the reason. <laughs> yeah, he he really does a great job. And anytime you pop in somewhere and he's there he also drops your link it's and you're like wow that's so great i even when you don't even think about dropping your link yourself mm -hmm. um so yeah. that's really great thank you douglas yes we appreciate you for sure yeah and don't forget tomorrow night on my channel yes auction, auction. we're prepared we 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 got we got a whole we got we got a whole Hey.
That was, uh oh. I can't hear you now. Where's your sound? Can Did you, you there? Can you hear me now? I can. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I was trying to show you all my stuff. Oh, right. um, what do you have? You got stuff? Yeah, we we got. Of course we do. Do you not? Do y'all not see this in the background? Oh, okay. Now okay. there's are shelves. I was like, "What stuff are you talking about?" Like, stuff like, days. We have stuff too that we've been putting together just special for that auction, and um, you know, Kimberly and I need to earn some wham money. Yes. So, we're going on a trip. So we're going to go to Tennessee. I don't know if anybody else is going to be there. Yeah, is there anybody in the chat? I know there's only a couple people all up, and I don't know where everybody's at. But Christopher Nutter. Hello, hello. I just turned you blue. Uh, I don't recognize the name, but behave, and and we'll keep you around. What up, Elizabeth K? Oh, Elizabeth K. What's How going are on? You? All right. So, so thank you for dropping Douglas' channel. He should be dropping his own too. We don't want him to be left out. So we have the auction tomorrow. You have knickknacks on Tuesday. Yes. And then the next day I have Where's my papers at, honey? With the day, I had to start putting it on paper because um, I know that sounds weird, but we mm -hmm. have we haven't put. There's our, nothing wrong with that. Like we that. I'm, I'm I'm that type of person. Um, we have not. We're supposed to sync our phones together, and we haven't. Um, <laughs> but we so I put it on paper. So I could have it in front of my face. Um, so I have on the second um, knickknacks, groovy train, and then the, on Thursday I have us. Let's chat. And then I have a. I'm on with Scooter Renee. Well, so we're we're so remember on. next next Thursday I'm going to be in Colorado. Oh, okay. So are we not going to have it, or do I go on and? Well, and I don't know. Yeah. I've I've gone back and forth on that. Uh, we might have to take a week off, and then when we go to Nashville, we'll just double, triple up. Yeah, you know, maybe, maybe that week. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm should go live. Sure I, I I got a lot of a lot of plans. So I think we should go live whenever we're in. Um, Nashville. Oh my gosh, we absolutely positively need to go live. How what does the chat think? Should should we go live to in person together? Beverly. I I'm just turned you blue, darling. Nice old. to see you, Beverly. Where have you been, sweetheart? Under a rock. That's where she's been. <laughs> yeah, where has she Beverly. been at? Beverly's my my PETA. I'm Beverly's PETA. I'm, yeah. What up, <laughs> Glenn? Glenn, are you hey, you're Glenn. going to Nashville? Glenn? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go. Are you going? Are you going? Yeah, Glenn, are you going? Are you going? Oh my gosh. Swamp is like OG in my world on YouTube. I know that he tries to go to um go to them if he can. I've met him. I met him at the, Did you? Um, I'm jealous. And Louisiana. Christopher oh, Nutter. The last one. Going to try. Glenn, oh. I'm going to be there. You're behind. Better be there. You better show up, sir. Christopher Nutter, are you going? Yeah, we're asking. We we want to know who we're going to meet. Um, Okay, we're like... We might extend tonight because we're already... 20. I know, and we were a couple of minutes late. Oh, so. no, 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 it's fine. It, if we go longer tonight, no, no big deal. Um, 
It's just us and the chat. Are you all ready? Who in the chat is ready to start game night? I am. Christopher says, no, I'm in Vermont. Well, I'm in Texas and I'm going. They get syrup out of trees in Vermont. Isn't that where they get it? An hour <laughs> drive. Let's see. It's only an hour drive for New Orleans. Nashville is nine hours. Swamp. I'm going. You're not going to go? I'm going. And yeah. I, we, we, live, going? We, li we live in Alabama. So, you know, you're not that much further away. You, ha you have to go back, Beverly. Yeah, Beverly. We already here. brought the baby out. He, You're too late. He was just here. He was just here. He he's on. He's about to be to the point of his next small small nap before the official. Oh, okay. Uh, nighttime sleeping. He had to get his. Glenn, I'm going. Yeah, you better go, Glenn. I'm gonna be disappointed. He had to Glenn, get his Glenn, Glenn, look at me, Beverly. Glenn. Glenn. He was smelling interesting. Glenn. Don't you like how we talk over each other? Yeah. If, if we don't, I don't, if we don't, neither one of us gets to talk. <laughs> yeah, okay. Y'all ready to roll out into yes! game night? Like, let's do yeah. that. Yes! I don't know what you're doing. So We're doing I a little family feud, like old school, which is what I would do. Okay. I would do it on my channel. Dog in Hill. In the day, is that do, who's Goose? dog? Dugan, Dugan, Dog in I, Hill. What? There's somebody in there saying hi to you. Oh, and I, is well, it, I'm I'm not on the screen yet. Dog in what? Hills. Dog D O G O N H I L L S. Hi, welcome in. I hope I'm saying oh, it right. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Nice to see you. Yeah, so I would do game nights. I would call it the crazies come out at night. And this was like, I mean, this is years ago. It's it's one of the reasons I know Chris Goose, the one who's my man, the one who helped me create this baby. Um, and Harlan would hang out and Bearded Picker on occasion would hang out. And so these are all people that are showing up in Nashville. So I think it's really cool that we're about to roll this out. So y'all ready? Let's do this. Okay, first question. Family feud style again. Um so there Get ready. is Rumble. So there is eight answers on this one. I'm gonna put it in the chat name a house you never want to be in name so, a house you never want to be in so do i get to say my answer yeah because you don't know you don't know these answers so you're you're more than welcome to spit out so some. can i just blurt out my answer you can so shelby shelby immediately crazy said, house. haunted haunted house I say which, crazy. Which haunted house is number one with 27? I said crazy. You said house. crazy house. Okay. So Dragon Hills says poor house. That is not poor. A poor house? Poor house. I don't know. What is that? Like in the hood? <laughs> what is that? No, White didn't house. You say Poor house or whore house? <laughs> poor house. Poor. Uh, uh, poor. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. A whore house might be fun. <laughs> that's way, that's a way we could make our, our yeah. wham money. We could make our wham yeah. money that way. Haunted house, app house. That um, is. Five people said that. Five what? people out of out, out of a hundred said that one. I wouldn't want to be stuck in an outhouse. Yeah, that would suck. Is, right? is mine on there, crazy house, or do I get a? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when mine's not on there, you have to go. Uh, 
big production house. Oh, Kajam's no. house, poor house is when you go broke. Crack house. You can play. Okay. Yep. That's seven people said that. Drug house. Joe said Kardashian house. <laughs> <laughs> you don't you don't want to hang out with them, Joe? No, I do not. <laughs> all right, oh. we're gonna give a couple a few more seconds and <laughs> I'm gonna tell you all all crack. of the answers and we'll move on to the next one. Somebody said crack house. <laughs> yeah. That so I know. That, Drug house is on there, so Glenn wants to know if you're going to Nashville. Yeah, Joe. Going he Nashville. is. I'm letting him go. You don't know what the poor house is, Kimmy. I like I've been in the poor house. Oh, well, I mean, I've lived occasional eras of having oh good answer, Christopher. Jailhouse That's the second one. So we got haunted house, jail house, drug house as the ones answered. So here's the rest of them, and we'll move on to the next one. So it's haunted house, 27, jail house, 11, dog house, drug house. She didn't house. skip it, Beverly. She put it up there. She put it up there. Glass house. White house. Cat house. And then outhouse, which was also answered. Beverly, yours was. <laughs> Sorry, that's a great answer, Beverly. That is a great, great answer. I'm no, it I'm... wasn't Beverly. Your answer stunk. <laughs> <laughs> nice oh, are, are we supposed so to be nice? <laughs> are we supposed to be nice? She knows. No. I'm, she knows. We're I'm supposed kidding. to just be us. She she knows I'm kidding. No, I'm not. I'm not. Of course. Be Beverly's <laughs> got a little sass in her. That's why she's watching. That, All right. Well, here's here's the this next guy. one. Coming out. Name something associated with vampires. Name Thanks. something associated with vampires. Things. 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 Yes. Thanks. Four people said that. Good job. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't say yep. that. I Bang. just said thing. Blood. The blood. Blood is number Elizabeth. two. Elizabeth Good says. Job. Elizabeth says T2, I think. Oh, my. Yeah. Good job. Elizabeth. You said, yeah. you said two it's things. Awesome. You got to stick with one. Why are you like putting Garlic. all these? Garlic have, is also there. They can have more than one answer. Well, we're not a, like him. A wooden either. stick to the heart. <laughs> that is a really good answer, but not there. Sorry. <laughs> Isn't that what Bat, kills them? Bat, bats is also on there. Isn't that what Good kills God, them? A wooden stick to the heart. Is that it? And oh, you would think, you would bullet? think that it would be to on the there. Brain? Silver bullet anywhere? Okay. Cross. Mm, I don't see that one. I thought we could only have one answer, Beverly, but apparently <laughs> That's Kimberly, right. just, Kimberly just did not tell us the rules. I'm not Steve Harvey here. Come on now. Well, thank goodness. You know, when the, that, if you were him, you would be bald. Uh, when the sun came in, is, the, who is the sun this? came in to shine that? and be like, whoa. Who is that? Who is that person? Who, is that is that a girl that played with played a vampire? I don't know. Beverly, you can have as many answers as you want. To no, be. you only get to answer one time, Beverly. <laughs> <laughs> Once. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Maybe, maybe it is so, the silver bullets. <laughs> hey, Beverly, no, this is how you. This is how you spell my name. Just so you know, get it right, or I'm gonna start calling you Bev. Yeah. Hey, you're not even blue on your channel. I'm not blue on your channel. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, she just got real serious. Okay, so here's here's the answers. So name something associated with vampires. Twilight, which nobody said. Blood. That's old. That Twilight crap. Garlic. Bat. Cape. Dracula. Fangs. Halloween. Y'all did good. Y'all did good. Y'all did good. I like this next question right here. That's the problem, Brother Lee. You thought wrong. Again, you thought wrong. Sheesh, Bev. No. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, here's the next one. Name something in a bakery a baker might call his wife. Name something in a bakery a baker might call his wife. Cupcake. You got one? Cupcake. 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 What? Honey buns. That's number one. Woo! Number one. Good job. Did you Good hear job. that, Beverly? I'm number one, Beverly. <laughs> <laughs> Muffin. Seven people said that one. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't think anybody said that one. Beverly. No, Beverly, I don't think I, I can't hear that one. That that they might go come in and out of the bakery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But if, she means, like the muffins weren't the bakery good, that, that you have that, to use. Yeah, the the muffins weren't good. That might be what they call people. A a patty. What's so that is not that is not on there, but that's a really great answer, though. Yeah, but that what is a patty? Great, like you know, <laughs> apparently a not. person. All right, a cookie. No, Beverly, it's not number one. It is you, not number one. Honey bun. No. You are so bad, Beverly. I can't do that on this show. I love me some Henri Beverly. Powdered sugar. You, what was baby, your answer? Is that what you call me? Oh, that would be so sweet. Call me oh. Picky <laughs> Mickey in here? <laughs> <laughs> so sugar, sugar is one, two, three, four, five, six down the list. So we'll count that. We'll count yeah, that. Yeah, I didn't even think of sugar. And you would think people would think of that like that should be way up on the list, and it's not. So, so Christopher Nutter says sweetness, which which is higher than sugar. It's number three. Good job. But what is, that's good. But what is sweetness? What is that? Like sweetie, sweetie pie. You know. Okay, but what up, sugar? You know, uh, whatever. 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 Elizabeth K says cookie. Um, see cookie on there, but that's a great. Well, that's a great I had answer. a friend that they wanted to know what they should teach their child to call their hoo ha, and cookie <laughs> was one of them. And I was like, don't teach your daughter to call her hoo ha a cookie. Because then it becomes like a pedophile taught them what right. to call their hoo ha. It needs I, to be a strong word. Like hoo ha is strong. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I say. My hoo ha. And that's what we taught, you know. All right. Well, before we go a little yeah. to. That's what I told you. Oh. I thought uh, Hill says salty butter. Ooh, who who are you hanging out with? <laughs> salty butter. Hey, come <laughs> here, salty butter. Sounds like a bluesy name. Okay, I'm gonna tell you it all. Could be greasy peach. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> tell you all the answers. Honey buns, which you said, Renee, and a few other people. His oven. What? I don't know about that one. Mm. Oven. Sweet, sweetie, here. sweetness, cupcake, okay. muffin, sugar, donut, sugar. and doughy. Who would 
called their significant I don't other. want them calling me doughy. Because I know I'm doughy. You're looking a little, you're looking a little doughy today. Come here, doughy. Come here, doughy. Easy bake. Easy bake oven. Uh, come here, easy bake. Come here, I need your oven. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm bringing up the next question. This is making plum. Me okay. Wait, we gotta take a. We gotta take half a break. Sugar plum. Hey, sugar plum. Twenty second break because sugar plum. It was your birthday last week, right, sweetheart? Confirm. I'm pretty <laughs> sure it was her that said. Whose birthday? I I'm pretty sure it's sugar plum. Oh. What up, MD? Oh. Happy hey, birthday. Go, girl. Confirm. Confirm in the chat. So I know. I mean, I, I know Ella had a birthday the other day. I want to say it was Sugar Plum. Sugar Plum. Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. So I told her the other day that I would make sure to sing her happy birthday. So we're going to take a small break. Before we get to the next question, and I'm going to sing to my sweet sugar plum, who's another OG. Do you need my assistance? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want. No. But it's fine. I just promised, I, I promised that I, I would do it. So sugar plum, I love you, sweetheart. Thank you for being such a great friend. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sugar Plum. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, I love you, sweetheart. Yeah, and if y'all, anybody else ever has a birthday, please let us know. That I, I did my to you. Did you hear it? <laughs> yeah, I, t I told her that I would do that. What up, M. Bill? What up? What you know up? what? That reminds me of. We had, I don't know why it reminds I think it's, oh, Beverly put, did you put a donut up there? Is that a donut? I had a donut Kit Kat bar a chocolate iced kit kat bar it was pretty good yeah yeah it wasn't bad nice not bad i just thought i'd share that with you okay well thank you for the information shall we get to the next question well if you didn't want it fine <laughs> oh i can't wait to meet you in person renee we're gonna have such a a, a great time you're welcome, Sugar Plum. No problem. All right. Happy birthday. If Happy you birthday. could go to the land of Oz, what <gasps> would you ask the wizard for? Oh. Hmm. What would you ask the wizard for? If you could go to the land of Oz, what would you ask the wizard for? Oh. I think people would say... I would think they would say like a million dollars. Most people would say. So, so money, money is number money. one answer. Money is number one. A heart. See, Emville was on it, on it, not flying. Hi, Emville. Right? A heart. That is number two. I would like that. A shotgun like for the flying monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> A winning Powerball ticket. Health. I would, uh -huh. I would look for that. A hot bod. That's number four. Y'all are rocking this one. Y'all are rocking this question. Sugar Plum says peace in the world. Wait. The good witch, you want the good witch? Why? Because she's hot or he, he, she she was kind of hot. <laughs> Glenda? I would I would totally wear her dress. Pretty in pink. You'd wear her dress? I would. I would. Okay. I, I would totally do her. 
I mean, <laughs> just saying. She's she's hot. It's like a lot of layers. It'd be a lot of effort. Yeah, I mean, I'd be like, flip that up, bitch. <laughs> you know, I'd be like, have to tell her to do it. <laughs> Doing it. Take that crown off. Yeah, I'll show you the flying monkeys. I don't care. Hey, hey. <laughs> a mansion. Yeah, I think that goes maybe with the money thing. But it'd have to be a big jackpot, like a big one. It would. It would. It would. Y'all are like putting out some great answers. Oh, so that one right there is oh, five. Wow. number five, Sugar Plum. Peace yeah, on Earth. That's a good one. Good the Lollipop Guild to help me with the housework. <laughs> yes, please. Right. As long as they sing. When they're doing it. Yeah. A bit of hair. Like. Oh boy. 710. Don't tell my secret. 710. <gasps> Don't tell my secrets. 710. Troy. Sure he. 710 has. You got a wrench in there. 710. <laughs> There go the dogs. They heard something. Da -da -da -da. Let me change this. Yes. Stay right there. Seven ten. So no. no um. Come here. Seven ten and I. Come here. Meander in possible karaoke lives, and that's all we're going to say. Moving yeah. on. You haven't gone to Deborah's to sing karaoke? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> okay, talk about you, it. okay, Troy, has she gone to Deborah's? I don't to want to talk about it. Have you? He, you're heard? not going to talk about it, but he can. Have you all heard Seven Ten though? Like, yeah, wow. I heard him. Wow. I watched him. Um, Deborah's a Deborah used to work with my sister. So I watch it. Okay, I'll private message you. <laughs> Secret safe. Good, good. Yeah. Shh. Say nothing. Say nothing. All right. Let's do the next question. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> Let's move on. Oh, Lord. Okay, this one should be interesting. Let's Were you see. drunk and singing on Deborah's carry? <laughs> well, it happens when you're singing at midnight. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> see? 710 knows nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next question is, <laughs> tell me a word. That rhymes with election. Mar, <laughs> I, I already know somebody. Election. Yeah, election. number two. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Rejection. Oh, uh -huh. Yep, that's that's down there. One, two, three, four, five, six down the list. Good job. Rigged yeah. election, babe. That's two words. Everybody One thought word. them. Everybody thought it. They just weren't gonna say it, or or maybe they didn't I knew know it was gonna it. happen. Maybe they were gonna happen. spell it or something. Protect it. You know, you would think that one would be on there, but it is not. Correction. At Let's least see. I use the medical term for it. You would think correction would be on there, but it's not. So perfection is good job, and very good. Very good. That is, that is number three. Great, great job. What's Selection. Let's see. Yeah, that is number one. So erection is number two. Selection is number one. Oh, you know what? Can we have somebody? Oh, 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 whichever one you think I'll like best. Joe's so getting the question is second from the bottom. Great job, Dragon. 
Great job. Yeah, yeah. We already discussed erections, Douglas. Where were you? <laughs> Joe's getting me some wine. Watch out. Nice. Yeah, it's game night. Have a good yeah. time. It is so game the, night. The detection is number four. Tomorrow's oh, good. See? see? Yes. Yes. We're talking about buildings. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. The Talking technical term for building a building. You erect a building. You can you also... Have, Renee, Renee, do you have access to your private chat? I do. Well, because I was going to copy and paste one. and Because you know me, like, I got to take a little pee break real fast. Um, oh. But I'm going to... Copy and paste one in the chat. Can you handle that for just two minutes? You're gonna let me and you're gonna let me ask a question. Well, you can't answer it because you're gonna know the answer. Oh, I gotta, I gotta ask it. This is not Jeopardy. This is Family Feud. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So there's that. Let me scan another one just in case. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Do you see it in the private yep. chat? I do. You know me. Like, I just had a baby. My bladder is not so great, y'all. But I'll be listening for... Go to the bathroom. Oh, she sounds like I did whenever I was a teacher. I'm going to the bathroom. I can't help it. I'm I can't help it. I tried so hard. It was really awful when we had Robin on. Uh, Real creative I'm studios, <laughs> and I wanted to die of laughter. <laughs> like, I five minutes into the live. That's I my was, uh, I alarm dying. to take my medicine. Okay, Damn, you got this. You can see I it. Do. In the top. I do. I can handle I'm it. I'm gonna pull you up. I'll be right back. I All right, you got this. You yes, got this. Teacher. yes. I will keep an eye on the students. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. I'm going to the bathroom. And I can hear you, so you better behave. Oh. <laughs> Are you going or not? Um, if, if, if your dog ran away, name something you'd be surprised he took with him. Hmm. I can't. All right, I got to do. I got to do this. That's just. Hold on. I'm going to have to use my brain here. And that's hard to do, but it's before wine, so I, I took a picture because when you you have to go back and forth, and that's hard to do. All right, <laughs> a bone, a leash, the couch. All right, what does my thing say? All right, number one. You can't pay yet. Why not? Answer. They are answering. I have an answer. I don't get your wine. She left me in charge. Mistake number one. Student Joe. <laughs> Sit down and shut up. He wants to answer, so. Question. Are you serious right now? All right. If you missed the question, if you're. The dog ran away, named something you'd be surprised he took with him. Mm. All right. So I've got here chew toys, underwear. Oh, and Phil wanted me to say it again. Steak, the kids, my wife, a friend. Uh, did I see somebody said, oh, Elizabeth said the cat. I didn't hear the question. Okay. Did you hear it that you didn't maybe you didn't hear it that time? Um, if you if your dog ran away, name something you'd be surprised he took with him. The newspaper, ha ha, treat bag, favorite toy. Okay. So the number one answer was the cat. And I think Elizabeth had that. Um, the leash, a few of you had that answer, I think. I think you did. 
And Shelby J had that answer. Good job, Shelby J. And I think more people had that. Maybe Joe will look through the comments and tell me who else said that. Um, food Bowl is 17. I didn't see Food Bowl necessarily, but I did see a lot of people say treat or treat bag, and I think that would count. It counts because I'm the decision maker. Um, the other one, his bone. I don't think I saw a bone in here. No. I don't think people will give their dogs bones that much anymore. <laughs> huh? Beverly said my bra. Yeah. If, I, Beverly, if, if that if a dog took your bra, they were taking it to live in. <laughs> They're going to make a teepee or something. Keep, keep the rain off of them. Um, you just, if you haven't met Beverly, then you wouldn't know. But if you have, you would. Um, a map. Yeah, I'd be surprised they took a map. Um, jumper cables. <laughs> Take jumper cables. Spare clothes. I guess he had, they had a car. Spare, spare clothes or shoes. Um, my dogs do have clothes, but they don't fit anymore. A gas can. And flares. Yep, yep, yep. That one was pretty. That was that one was interesting. All right. The next question: What is something you keep in your car just in case? Shh. shh. I, oh, I thought you were given. I thought you were looking at my phone. Oh, somebody answered that. Okay, what is something you keep in your car just in case? Bone was not the first answer. Bone was like um, third to last, Beverly. Jumper cables. I don't drive. <laughs> Coat. My, my dog has triple A. <laughs> I hope it's so. Um, you just take your dog out in the car, turn off the car, call AAA, say, oh my gosh, my car broke down. I started to walk and then I realized I have AAA. Can you go get my dog? <laughs> you your dog around. <laughs> that would be funny. Um, water, snacks, flashlight. Snacks. All really great answers. Yeah. Snacking. Snacking. Especially a when I was blanket. pregnant. The people that are me. the people that are saying like a blanket, a sweater, um, some people with the snacks, I think those people probably live where it snows. Chris <laughs> said yeah. Yes. Yes. Chris said shovel. Um, you're Chris, and that might be because in case you get stuck in the mud. Well, so he knows that oh, when I was in Colorado. Colorado, that I had a shovel in my car. And yeah, like times. you can really get caught in that in the snow and not be able to get out and be on a path where a lot of people don't travel and yeah. get snowed in in your car. And, yeah. Um, Shovel, shovel is necessary in, in places where it's... Yeah. Necessary. And you definitely can tell, like, kind of or, what... Or, you know, if you need to whack somebody upside their head, too. I mean, I'm just You saying, never know. crazy. You never know. Um, um, swamp pickers... So, who, who got the... Who, uh, who got the number one? Or this time? Somebody said it. I don't know. I haven't. I haven't looked. I'm just looking at their answers. Oh, yeah, there's some great blanket answers. gloves. Wait, what kind of gloves? You don't got duct tape too in there, Christopher? <laughs> <do you? laughs> like, Water, spare tire. But, but oh, I gotcha, Beverly. I must have missed it then. Maybe I didn't go back up enough. I didn't see both. Whoever First said bone kit. Also, oh, yeah, important. that's a good one, Beverly. I'll give you that one. It is only one. I'm only going to give you one good answer. Yes, Bear yeah, Tiger. Um, I live in Mississippi. Huh. So what? 
Garbage, garbage bag rope shovel goes in with the bag along. <laughs> wait, 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 Douglas. What are you? What are you? What are you doing, Douglas? Garbage bags. I actually uh, have grocery bags in my car, but it's only because I resell and I always need bags to put all the stuff that we get from yard sales. But I don't know about the rope. <laughs> Extra all right, so. plate. Oh, <laughs> and Bill's got the big eyes. <laughs> Bill's like, okay, so Renee, what, what are all the answers in order? Okay, I'm going to tell you. I had to take a picture of it and put it on my phone. Um, number one answer. Are you ready? Yes. Money or coins. Um, is number one answer was 19 points. And a lot of, there was a lot of people that said money. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess, you know, I'm of old school. That was all. We always kept extra change in case you had to call somebody. Yeah. But there's very few places now that, that you will find a phone, a a uh, phone that you can put coins in. There's not very many. There was one we know where we lived. One I I used to keep it for tolls, but now tolls have the little tags and they just scan them as you yeah. go through. But that was the reason I used to always keep. Yeah, I didn't go through many tolls, and if we were, it was like it was a trip. We knew we were going to have to. Um, let's see. The second one was food and water. And then the third one, Beverly, was first aid kit. Beverly said that one. I have one of those. I have one of those. Especially yeah. with kids. Like, necessary. Yeah. And the next one was spare tire. And Beverly, I know you had that. I didn't see anybody else say that, but I, you know, we were scrolling through there. That, but, that seems like, like a legit answer. Well, so it is. I think it seems important. I think, though, maybe why a lot of people wouldn't say that is because your car comes with a spare tire. Yeah. I mean, so you just, I guess you take that as a kind of given. Yeah. 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 And then mm -hmm. a map. Jumper cables. Somebody said that first thing. The first thing they in here that came up was jumper cables. Um, spare clothes or shoes. I don't think of that, but I know Joe does with um, what he does for a living. He keeps a spare uniform, spare underwear, and that's only because he crapped his pants once. <laughs> and and um, no, no, I I keep a spare outfit only right now because of the baby. Because the baby craps on you. Know, it happens, up. and I always bring one for. Chris, too. I'm like, do you need an extra shirt just in case? It, you know, I didn't. Want to burn. Normally, I wouldn't do that. Normally, I wouldn't do that. And the last answer is flare. And I think there was one or two people that said flare. If you had the right answers, congratulations. If you didn't, that's okay. You had a yeah, good answer, not, too. I mean, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You suck, but it's, okay. <laughs> it's all good. You did great at it. Right. You got a you got a spare steering wheel. <laughs> okay. Next next question. Oh, and this is interesting. When you enter a bathroom, what color do you really hope not to see in the toilet bowl? Oh my gosh. Oh, come on now. Come on. Really? Now. You know me. We're going there. When you enter what? a bathroom, what color do you really hope to not see in the toilet bowl? <laughs> this should be a quick oh, no. one. I mean, no, so many colors. There could be in the in the ladies' bathroom, there could be three color. No, four colors. There's shade between two of them. Yeah. And and Bill, so that one is actually three. That the third one, I thought that would be number one, but you gotta remember that there's male and female answering this. Beverly says brown. That's number one. 
Dragon Hill also says, oh, green would be. So it's it's number four. That would be concerning. I would like it's actually really not want to walk up to the person and be like, "Are you okay?" Well, you could have had too much fiber, too much like maybe you're eating too, too much peas, too much salad. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> too much seaweed. I don't, you know, too much too much of the green stuff. But this is red. Oh, yeah, that's like, if you see black, which is the second from the bottom, uh, you probably need... That would be concerned help. about. You need some help. Yeah, that that I would be concerned about for the person. Oh, Goo Go says, Renee, finger, finger nail green. Your little neon green. Yeah, that would really be concerning. Yeah, this would be concerning. Yeah. Kind of the yeah. same thing. Exactly. Like, you really got some problem. That ain't no peas. Like you got some there's oh, some no. there's some mucus problem going on there. <laughs> blue, blue, blue. Oh, well, that's blue orange. That would be odd. That would be odd. Okay, mm -hmm. so the answers are brown 61. Yeah, and I hate that. Oh, like, that's I can not even exit and go out somewhere else. Uh, yellow, which I don't think anybody said. Did yeah. anybody say yellow? Oh, that's Beverly just yellow. said it. Yellow crazy. was number two. Red, mm -hmm. green, black. Really barrel taste. Yeah. Cheers. Y'all did pretty good. They're did. pretty smart in here. Yeah. Yellow. Oh, you know what else is concerning? If we're going to talk about poo colors. Yeah, sure. White. White, white oh, is not a would good. Be, I've, I've never had that happen. I've seen in white. Have had white? <laughs> Wait, I, have, I don't want to know. <laughs> I know. I know. I haven't had white. <laughs> Drank from the uranium glasses that give you that green. No, I didn't. Yeah, white white is a problem. I yeah, it is. And um, I don't, I can't remember because I watched Doctor Oz once. This was like years ago. Whenever you know, he's really popular. I don't. Is he still on? Anyway, he, they said I couldn't remember know. why they said white was not a good color of poop. He was going over like what? Yeah. Well, that doesn't sound like a good color. Like you oh, should. He <laughs> We're going there, folks. We're Is talking about just poop. Up? We, Joe just, there. Wait, Joe just looked it up. What? A lack of bile. It's there's a lack of bile, which means that see a doctor now. See a doctor now. That means that your um, bile duct is not working. Like yeah. Should. So see, you can learn something, y'all. If your poop is, and I don't mean to laugh because it sounds a, concerning, but there is If your poop. <laughs> If your poop is white, it's a problem. And you, if you don't fart, if you don't fart every day, you could get the cork out your ass. You get the cork out your ass. You could have a bowel obstruction. That yeah. You you know it if you have also a problem pooped or have a fart. So it's so Renee is saying that it. I'm trying to be serious. Renee is saying it's good to fart. Uh, you Which, should I fart. Mean, it's a true statement. I you mean, should, the baby farts like every hour. You should fart at least 12 to 14 times a day. <laughs> you should. Oh, yeah. because I poopy rainbows. And well, well, you got problems. You might need to get that checked. Um, but seriously, you should fart at least 12 to 14 times a day. And it's okay if you don't poop every day. Uh, okay, I'm going to try but, not to cry. <laughs> but you should be concerned if you don't poop at least once if, a week. If, oh, yeah, that's definitely concerning. And you don't fart. If you're not farting... That's yes. So, see, we we always try to teach something in all of our lives, whether we learn about somebody or teach about reselling. 
So tonight it's if see what <laughs> I'm sorry. I you know you're with true. You know you're with true friends. If you don't fart or poop yeah. within certain days, you know you're with true friends when you can talk about bodily functions, especially yeah. poo. <laughs> I mean, we can call it bowel movements, but you know. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Okay. You turn it up. I mean, it was a my makeup off. It was a question. I mean, <laughs> it is healthy. Well, I told him what was going on with me, like with the burping and stuff, the mm -hmm. Saturday before the auction, and how so bad they smelled. You know? I could, I couldn't even smell the burps. But he said they were really bad. Um, it happens. You know. Burps. Burps happen. All right. Let's do let's do the next question. <laughs> Moving Just, on. Okay. Is it a bodily function one? Oh, we're getting we're getting into the good ones, y'all. Name name an occasion for which you might wear your lucky underwear. I don't have any lucky underwear. Not anymore. I got lucky when I married Joe, so I don't have to wear any lucky underwear. <laughs> My lucky underwear are probably you don't get on granny panties. Yeah, they, my lucky underwear probably at Goodwill somewhere. <laughs> right. Date night. Yep. That's one. So that's, that's number one. one. That's number one. Any lucky underwear because you don't take me oh, on date night. night. That. That is a great answer. I don't see that specific, but that should be up. That's there. a good one, Christopher Nutter. Yeah, that's me. That's, that's a great Nutter Butters. I love Nutter Butters. Beverly would just like you to get her. Bingo. Yeah, you want to wear your fancy underwears for Bingo? I love Bingo. Well, you never <laughs> know. I did too. Yeah, I did. Bingo. Lucky underwear. That would make I wanna, sense. I want to go play bingo. You think that we can play bingo in Tennessee? Yeah, where we're staying? that would be so much fun. We should try to figure that out. Because I love bingo. But if you go to we play bingo, we're going to wear our, our hair big. and our hair, We're doing our Nikki bun. We do that. But if y'all if y'all didn't know about a Nikki bun... You should go back and watch last week's episode of our show on Renee's channel. And Nikki, Picky Nikki, taught us how to do. Uh, gosh, she has such a fabulous bun. So yeah, we. So if we go to Bingo, we wear our Picky Nikki bun and our lucky underwear, right? Okay, we can do that. I don't have any lucky underwear, so maybe you, you can take me to buy either. some. Lucky, maybe you can take me to buy some lucky underwear, and I'll get lucky. So, so I, I, I have to ask. I have it up on the screen. Douglas says vampires. Douglas, do you know some vampires? Because the question is, name an occasion for which you might wear your lucky underwear. Vampires. <laughs> <laughs> Douglas, who are you he's, hanging out with? He's, he's concerned. He's waiting for the vampires to come get him. Oh, super and he's going to have his underwear. That's a great answer, Elizabeth. No, Elizabeth, Kay. Kay. yeah, They're, like you're betting or something. Yeah, so that's just the because event you want your to win. Yeah, sporting event is number four. So I'm I'm gonna take that. I can see that. I thought like that's number three. When do you wear your number lucky three. underwear? I think about to get sex, but dumpster know, diving. Wait. Other things. Beverly, dumpster diving? You gotta wear you gotta wear your lucky underwear for dumpster Apparently diving. She does. Apparently she does. Well, she she went dumpster diving and she got sod. What did you do with the yeah, sod? What? She can't. Yeah, she got sod. I mean, I know Wait, you live in that sod. Yeah, what she she sod. S O D sod like grass. 
sod, S O D, S O D, grass. Um, did you didn't he, I don't know? Did you take it all the way back to your house? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so you went Beverly. You went. You went to a dumpster, and there was just rolls of grass. No, it was on. It was on a pallet, and they were like squares or not squares, rectangles. Oh, so they set it to the side. They were gonna. They were gonna throw it away. It was at like Home Depot or Lowe's or something. Was, no, they were. What, what did you do with that? Did you get it from the garden department and think that it was supposed to be in the dumpster? I need to know the rest of the story. <laughs> well, we might all need to know because we don't really know how she got it. Yeah, how'd you get your sod, Beverly? That's a great answer, by the way. Because they do have the garden department out back. So she could have she could have stole it. <laughs> Yes, grass. My husband put it in my yard. That's awesome she, because that is not cheap. What a great, what a great find. See, in our meetups, we have a, um, well, whenever we met up with um, Victoria, we had, one of the things that we did was go out one day. And we did a we would dumpster dive, and you would pick out the two things that you thought were the best. That's and then, awesome you did that in Colorado. They put locks on all the dumpsters. Oh, so they they, not, extra, no. yeah. they don't care. Yeah, no. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So did she come? Did she come to you, or did you go to her? Well, this is when I lived in Florida, so we all traveled. Where did we go? Where were we? We went to Jacksonville for the meetup. So she traveled up, and we traveled up, but she was further away. But, you know, we did that. We did the, at our meetup, we did a dumpster dive. We did our auction mm -hmm. where we compete against each other. Mm -hmm. Um. And and that's always fun. You did you the big reseller meetup when you met Goose? No, no. This oh, is when okay. the one that Valerie has. No, the uh, one that uh, Valerie, Valerie, Victoria. I said Victoria before. I was thinking of something else. Um, but no, the, you're thinking of the one that when we met Donna down south. Right. She got the Lowe's guys loaded in her van for. Lowe's guys loaded in my van. Sure they did. Sure. I bet you it was some undercover thing going on there. Yeah. So y'all y'all need to definitely be paying attention towards the end of April because I'm gonna be hanging out with Renee in person. And we're not going to have a scheduled, you know, nest like time. We might. We might pop on, on our time and get Maybe. some Maybe. People, Maybe. people that you know. Well, and, because and you're, you're coming out on that day i think we're coming out maybe friday so i don't i don't quite know either way i would like to do a live on this channel right here and then do a live yeah. on your we, channel we, we most definitely can i'm bringing i'm bringing my laptop all right you ready to do another question or are you I mean, we're we're past our usual time, but it's game night. Did, we go over the, did you go over the answers? All the answers? No. Yes. Joe didn't think you did. Oh, I missed all that. Oh, did Wait, I not? Are you did I not, Joe? Sorry, Joe. Ho, ho, Joe. He says you didn't. I thought you did, too. But we um, may have gotten caught up in the whole Beverly no, for the color, the color, the toilet. That yeah, was the awesome, color right? of that you didn't want to see in the bathroom. Yeah, the lucky okay. So, oh, lucky underwear. That's what you're on. Lucky underwear. Yeah, yeah. You didn't go over those answers. Okay, so hot date is number one. 
job interview. Well, Makes sense. Number two, casino gambling, which there was all kinds of people who mentioned that one. Sporting event, somebody mentioned that. Wedding night, I don't think anybody said that one. Anniversary, I know somebody said that. Valentine's Day, and then exams and finals. <laughs> all, I mean, it, it all makes sense. Wedding night. I'm pretty sure you're getting lucky. You didn't wear, you wear your lucky underwear on your wedding night? Oh, oh well, I didn't you. wear any underwear. You probably shouldn't be married in our You have to wear your lucky underwear. On your You're wearing so much stuff. All right. Oh. Chris, pay attention. I'm just gonna not wear no underwear. Yeah, don't wear any underwear. You don't want any panty lines. And there's so much crap to take off anyway. And you never know where your new husband wants to get lucky. He could <laughs> want to get lucky at the reception in a bathroom or you know, some closet. Um, I'm just telling you. <laughs> you never know. You never know. You're right. You're right. Well, Dra Dragon Hills, I, I, I don't know what to tell you because this is not necessarily just these answers, answers are lame. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bunch of people. Don't study for the test. Just wear lucky underwear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was, that I didn't study a lot for my finals i mean i studied but i didn't like study a lot most of the time during quiet hours that you had to have on your dorm room on in the dorm rooms we mm. were playing laser tag so because you had to be quiet so it was perfect to play laser tag mm -hmm. i love laser tag it's fun love it all right i got I got a really great question right. for the next one. Are you ready? Are you ready, Renee? Are you ready? Ready! Ready! If there was a store that only sold husbands, most people would try to buy one with what? <coughs> If there was a store that only sold husbands, most people would try to buy one with what? Dead leaves. <laughs> what? The leaves. Dead leaves? Is that yeah. what you said? The ones that you, yeah. You, Wait. yeah. You're a moron. You, you <laughs> Joe, <laughs> Joe, we got to talk, buddy. Acorns. Joe. Joe. <laughs> you got dead leaves or didn't you say you would what would you try what would you try to buy your husband with? No. If there was a store that only sold husbands, most people would buy most people would try to buy one with what? You know what? Actually, I'm te you know, I, I was teasing you for half a second but i i am a fan when i buy plants of of buying the ones that are looking a little more sad <laughs> but i don't want to compare that to joe no, wait, wait. Like, yo, yo, I took the no, no, can you look a little sad i thought that i think i thought the question was <laughs> If you're buying, if you're going to this a store yes. that only only sells husbands, yes, what would you pay to get one for them from to, to buy? If, if there was a store that only sold husbands, most people would try to buy one with what? Like a credit card? Oh, like a lot of money, a good job. Like oh my god, yeah. yeah. Okay, they're, they're qualities. Yeah. You're talking about qualities. I thought I thought that you were talking no, about not no sad. How, what would they would you pay like with like with money? Um, I was like thinking dead leaves. I would pay for for him with dead leaves. 
not, you know, whatever I could find or scrape up to pay with. Like I have lots of money. Better I would pay this. for him with acorns. Because I have so lots of acorns. I'll pick that Beverly is as bank account, which is five down. Five down. So Wait. Money in a terminal terminal Not illness. Wait, you, you want to you you would, you would want somebody who had problems? I am a little slow, but no, she didn't, you're good. It was freaking hilarious. I just like didn't hear oh, like, David. Wait. The, com the commas. What's your first answer, Beverly? Well, what well endowed. She used the well endowed. She's trying to be like Christopher. Proper. Showing cleavage. You want you want a man showing cleavage? What kind of what kind of man? Maybe we shouldn't get too into Yeah, that. why would a man show cleavage? <laughs> Gold and silver. I mean, I mean, I mean Chris has has a really nice upper body. So does he? Know, maybe that's that. Mm. Maybe about pecs. Maybe he should show me whenever we get to uh, Tennessee. <laughs> yeah, we okay, should get there. You can see Joe's hairy. Uh, sugar, sugar Plum says, a, you know. <laughs> We're going to just skip that. Going. A big long. That should long. be number one. Yeah. Big long. A big plant. She like parmesan? Oh, a big egg plant. A, a big life insurance policy. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, Elizabeth I mean, K. It seems important, right? Vampires. Wait. Not Is just a, a big vampire? insurance policy, but somebody that is you know, on the most wanted list with some criminal people. See, leave it, leave it, leave it to Popo Joe to say the number two answer, which I think is that's why he one. that's why he should loves be me. number one. That's why he loves his personality, right? Mm -hmm. That's my he loves me for my cleavage and my personality, but I'm not a man really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really not a peach. Last time I looked, I wasn't a man. No wives for sale. Oh, Sugar plum and I want the same thing. You guys want a big eggplant? <laughs> I mean, it's a bonus. Robin wants a peach. Wait. A greasy peach. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dead leaves, a new currency. Gold is really, babe. Gold. You, you would gold. not. You would not hang out with me if I had gold and silver. He would just take the gold and the yeah, silver. Just, you're right. You're and right. Go take it and turn it yeah. in. Yeah. The only reason is so he can take it and resell it, right? And then he would get you those. Um, they're advertising them a lot now. The pop on um, veneers. Yeah. Babe, really? I'd rather have a hoo ha. <laughs> I love y'all. This is a great time. Like, I'm, I'm wondering if maybe we should do this more often. Okay, let me tell you all, all the answers. So, job is number one. Shemi's got all the answers. <laughs> Personality, humor, which Joe said. Warranty, guarantee. I don't know what that means. Heart a warranty? Uh, you don't know what a warranty is? How or a guarantee? You a warranty on a person, though. You don't. That's the whole point. They're hoping that that's what they want is a guarantee or a warranty. And if that way you can take them back and get a. Uh, updated. Oh. Okay. Duh. Okay. I'm Heart character. Somebody said. Low down. Bank what? account. Bod butt. 
head of hair. I don't Did you say the Yankee forgot. candle? So the last one is brain. How how are y'all like really? Well, you know, some men concerned more about the job and the head of hair than you are the brain. Gold digging hose. The men, men, you, you know. Never mind. I don't know. You're more concerned about their look than their intelligence. But the because, look thing sort of... No. In men, it never fades. Whenever men get older... Sort of. Sort of, no. sort of it does. It does. Not until mm -hmm. you're so senile that you don't care. You and just, no other woman yes, doesn't yes. care either. So men get better looking with age. <laughs> For the job. <laughs> to call diggers. No, you know, they men just don't. They get better looking as they get older. Women, we they get do. Like I'm, I'm on this whole salt and pepper look, and he's gonna hate me for saying this because you can't see it on screen. But Goose Chris has has got this little black and white thing going on and i find it very attractive and he's gonna say it's because of you that he has that yeah i'm sure i got plenty of them too but oh, my yeah. hair's a different color i got it all going on girl all of it. i'm thinking just, for nashville like i need to do something about it i just thought it, i'm like, not throwing my hair it cost me almost what almost two hundred dollars to get my hair colored? I was like, screw that! I'm not doing it anymore. No, no, like gray is in. Yeah, my my mom calls it silver hairs of wisdom, and it's a, you know it's a thing now. Like, silver... I, I think when when you get to a certain point, I want a diet. It makes you look older. Than I'm you on a face group. Older. Facebook group for older women with gray hair. It's called the Silver Revolution. That's nice. Nice. I don't. I'm never. I don't even talk to them. But you know, I'm not even. I don't even. I don't go on um, social media unless it's for a purpose. Like you have to tell me you sent me something, or you have to tell me that something's tagged um, because I don't know. I think it. When did I know? The Brooklyn Bridge, was it the Baltimore Bridge, collapsed because of the tugboat. And I just happened to be here and um, was going to go on YouTube and saw that I saw something that said something about it. And I'm like, what? When did that happen? Joe's like, it happened Tuesday. And here, I noticed it yesterday. And I was like, that's horrible. And so then I had to catch up and, you know, he was telling me people, you know, how many people died and how many people are missing. And wow. it, it just kills me. And then you told me about what you told me about and I haven't heard. So I have Facebook. I have Facebook business. I have Facebook personal. I have Instagram. I, you know, but I don't go on. It's very much just... I go on when I can. Yeah. No, I get it. I get it. A, a lot of times for Facebook for me is family and then trying to get a hold of people. And I have, I'm just going to put it out there because I have a lot of people from YouTube who try to friend me on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And although I love y'all, it's just like I'm, I'm not as into it as Instagram. So go follow me on Instagram. Yeah. Because that's where I post, you know, uh, way more. So Douglas, I want to. Emville. <laughs> I, I want to make a little comment. So Douglas says, Chris, are you going live tonight? There's no late night auctions. So we just did an auction on. Kim's, it's about to get real on Tuesday, which was epic. Like, 
such a good time. We are not doing one tonight, but Douglas, we're doing an auction tomorrow with Renee. On my channel. So make yes. sure. You I know Douglas is subscribed to my channel. So. Yes. So come hang out and then I'm, I'm going to be missing in action because I am going to Colorado, but I will be back around eventually. But yeah. We, we do a few auctions. We'll throw them in there every once in a while. Yes. Random, random. All right. We ready for another question or are you over it? I, I'm ready. I'm having fun. Right. So Good. I'm having a great time. All right. I, you know, Beverly, I don't give wrenches out on my channel. Oh, um, really? Do you not have one? Okay. Rhonda uh, is the only one I ever gave one out because she was a so, moderator. So, yeah, we're right. So Renee and I are, are a little different in that. Um, so I started YouTube four, five years ago. And I handed wrenches out because I, for me, this is for me. Um, I always felt like, because I was the last kid picked in dodgeball, I didn't want anybody to feel like that. So I just always put everybody as blue. So it's just sort of a thing that I've always done. Renee doesn't necessarily do that, and that and that's perfectly yeah. fine. I, 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 do I, it for the same reason. I just don't want you know. No, it's no big deal. No. It's, it's seriously, just, it's no it's no big deal. deal. Everybody runs their channel differently, but I just kept rolling, you know, sort of with that. But if yeah. you are not blue, you should know when you watch the beginning, if you're blue, I like you. If you're not, I just don't know you yet. Or and dot, dot, dot. I may not like you. <laughs> Which is yeah. very few. Very few people. But I... It's me. I, I don't have a reason, you know, to do auctions or whatever extra it is. So if you roll into the chat, don't be afraid to come say hi if you're gray. Um, I'll turn you. I'll I'll turn you blue. Yeah, I don't. I just I have moderators that I turn blue. Yeah, and that's it, fine. I mean, you've, it, done, um, you've done your that was, and that was so whenever I had auctions, people would know who my moderator was. Um, so don't take offense to it. I just don't give them out. Wow. Also, no, if you no. notice, if you notice, Kim, me, Kimmy, Kimberly does not have me wrenched on her yeah. channel. No way. Yeah, way. Well, I got Joe wrenched. Yeah, you like him better. What? Well, sorry. 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 Same. <laughs> All right. We're going to do the next See, question. Look. look. I'm gray. Are you serious? <gasps> you are. She'll do a show with me, but she does not like me. No. Look. Official. You're blue. Oh, now I'm blue. I mean, yes. like. I didn't know. And, you know, I don't, I never, you know, I don't ever really pay attention. I, I hope um, nobody ever told pays me tonight, attention to that. Because I just told me that he goes, you're not blue. And I'm like, what? Yeah, I am. And then I saw what? I wasn't. And I was like, ha. Huh, hmm. We've been friends for a super long time. Well, you really know what? Really, I could throw it back to you. Were you subscribed to me? Yes, I was. <laughs> but. Yeah, I've been subscribed to you for well. Oh, I didn't know that. Like, if it was affecting you, you, you should. You should. It doesn't. I just knew. I just found out, and I it doesn't affect me. Um, you could let yeah. me gray all the time, and it. it oh. too, I think I, it, I sometimes kind of like to be gray because then I stand yeah. out. Well, I just think that we put too much value in how we appear 
to others. And I think that is a symbol for others to see and right. we worry about what it appears like. So I, I don't, and it's, everybody is different from channel to channel. Yeah, like and that I just, in my heart, like if you were affected by that. No, I, I wasn't. I, what I'm trying to tell people is don't worry about it. Yeah, you know, about because it. if they really didn't like you or didn't want you in their um, chat or on their channel, they just would block you. They would just get rid of you. Yeah, um, that's the best way. So don't, please don't take it. Um, Beverly is tired. So yeah. should we do one more? Let's do one more and then end this. Hey, Beverly, you better behave yourself. Yeah, Beverly. All right, we're going to do one more and then wrap it up because we're past our usual time, which I love hanging out with y'all. Yeah, yeah. Well, and in Florida, where Beverly's at, it's an hour later, so 9.39. And we know, given her age, and her shoe size. She can't stay up. Oh, she's got big feet or something? No. I didn't say that. Oh, okay. All right. Here's the question. Name something you do if the person sitting next to you on an airplane had BO. I thought that was, this was appropriate because... Well, you're you on know, an airplane. Well, you know, name something you do if the person sitting next to you on the airplane had BO. So Wait. for me, I would do probably nothing because I'm that person. I would just suck it up, not literally suck it up, but I would say yeah. because I mean, I've, I've been in that. I've been in that <laughs> position. You put your arms under their armpit and go. You 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 get your like disinfectant out. You're like, <laughs> well, you know, today in today's day and age, you might have a mask. You just put a mask would just be on. spraying Lysol. And Bill thought like I did. Put your oh, COVID mask see? on. That's the way you do it. That's the way you do it, Joe. Just go to sleep. Go to sleep. You gotta. I can't. If it's really bad, I won't be able to go to sleep. Joe. Joe just goes to sleep. I mean, whatever. He goes to sleep. So, so sleep is number two. Or sorry, from the bottom. You're not tired. Uh, you know. I think I would put a mask minutes. on, or ask. You could ask for one of those blankets um, that they have if you need a blanket to stay. Um, warm and i would get it and just you know pull it up over my face like i'm super cold um because yeah. you can't there's like you can't get a them any deodorant no stench like they're literally right there nose plugs you could use your earplugs that it that you can buy for five dollars no, no and Mel, Mel says put on a mask so that's number two yeah, I would definitely put on at this day and age, you would probably have one. Well, yeah. you know, asking for another seat is a good idea, but I, you know, they will pack those planes tight now. Yeah. That no. Really ever an empty seat. Go sit in the bathroom the whole flight? No. Oh, the bathroom stinks. Hang out in the bathroom. Not if you're the first one in there. Um, yes, they do. That water in and of itself stinks. Put my book over my face. That is not going to help the stench. Well, you know what you can do. You know they have those emergency <laughs> seats. <laughs> and for the stewardesses store, to sit in in case there's a crash, you could just um, tell one of them what's going on in secrecy and ask if you can sit in their seat. And until you get to where you're going and tell them, if we crash, I will run up and get in my seat 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that way. I I like Christopher's answer. Give him the other. <laughs> Please, if you do that, film it. <laughs> Give them deodorant. Where are you going to get the deodorant? <laughs> and they're bad. They're carry on. They're like, excuse me. Excuse well, me. that's if you. Here you go. I mean, yeah, but I won't. I don't no, want to. It would not work. But you might not have put it in a carry on. It could be. I'm. I'm so used to. I know people just take one. Like they take their carry on because they charge you for extra luggage. I'm of the I haven't been on a plane since they started doing that. I always take extra with me. So yeah, that that's a hilarious answer. I I like Chris's. Do answer. you like that spill, idea? Spill vodka on them, but then you probably try to lick them. <laughs> well, so my problem with that is, is like, what a waste being in an airplane for your twenty dollar drink. But just that that's this big. Is I don't never. Well, I drank vodka and another drink, but I don't think the vodka to me vodka has a very strong smell. I may be wrong. So, but. so I I think he's. He's on to something in the sense of you know what if you were if you were sitting next to somebody who sink that much, I mean, something you might, you might just drink a whole lot. And act like you know you hit some turbulence and whoa, whoa! Did you feel that, dude? Sorry, I spilled on you. No. So everybody yeah. says uh, start farting. Oh. Huh. Right, so now you have B.O. and farts. Yeah, you could get your quota up for the day since, you know, <laughs> you should fart at least 14 times a day. Oh, it will, well, yeah. could, you imagine, could you imagine sitting on a plane and somebody just gets out a can of Zoc? <laughs> I would... You I'm just, a like, cool, chill person, but that would send me over the edge and my best might have a black eye but my best eye. best friend she would in florida she would not you know my second best friend um she is the type of person that would carry lysol with her and any kind of disinfectant stuff she could fit in her purse she's that ocd about stuff um so she would spray another person She's that she tired. would if, if they were sitting in oh, front of her. My God, that would piss me off. She wouldn't she, spray she, them. She might end up with some black eyes. She would I'd rather have somebody just tell me. She wouldn't spray them. She would have been like, "Oh my gosh, what do you smell? Is that you, Ray?" And then she would just start spraying, like start spraying, so that it would smell better. I would know what she's doing. That, that would make me mad. I would be mad. I'm on this whole kick about with the baby, especially not using lotion and like butt stuff, yeah. you know, or, or sprays or we live in Southern Texas. So there's a lot of mosquitoes. Yeah. And so you have to spray for mosquitoes. So I put it like in a big circle out and I just, I would be mad. I would be pissed. Yeah. You want to see me from zero to 15? Spray some shit. She Sorry, would not spray them. Spray some stuff around me and I, she would not spray that. You're going to have a bad day. Whenever I had <laughs> my children. When I had my children and they were little, like car seat little, mm -hmm. she would get in, if she had to get in the truck and my other girlfriend called shotgun because we were that immature. Oh, I had, love that. I did the same thing. Have to sit in the back. I kid you not, she'd have her purse and she'd have her Lysol wipes and everything. And then she would open the back seat and she... Like, what? Why do you let your kids eat in the car? And I'm like, because I need them to be quiet. 
So she would like right. take her light Lysol wipes and wipe it down, wipe down the seat. And we would have the best time making fun of her. We make fun of her to her face. Like, because that's just one. We make fun of each other to the, our face because we each have quirks. And yeah. um, we're like, I'm like, oh my gosh. Even if there is something there, it's dried. If there's a booger there, it's dried. Get in the seat. Oh, Let's Lord. go. We're, you know, we're running late. But she is, she's, she's, Oh, she's hilarious. She would, she would be like, "I gotta fix this. Something smells." And or then, if she was afraid to spray something, she would get out. She would probably have some Bath and Body Works lotion that smells really strong, and she would take it and put it on me, and put it on her, and then she would take some and put it on the back of the seat. <laughs> Like you wouldn't probably feel it. She'd be like bumping into the seat. Oh, I'm sorry. She's all random. She's like, "Hey, yeah. how you doing?" Yeah, she would do something like that. She's she that's hilarious. All right, all right. I love you, and I would love to hang out for. Oh, we're not backstage. But this is how we talk to each other backstage. Oh, yeah. Sorry. But we're almost to nine o'clock, which means the baby. It's probably needing to go official bed. And you know how the boys are. They gotta have a little mandate. Yeah. The mandate. Romance. Um romance. I appreciate everybody hanging out. Emil, Beverly, great answers. Elizabeth K. Yeah, it was fun. Chris the Goose. Popo. Oh, mini me even put one in there. That would be my kid. Christopher Nutter, thank you very much yes. for coming by. So we're going to take a week off because I'm going to Colorado. And then we will be back on Renee's channel, Flipping Flamingos. If you're not subscribed to her, you need to be. Sugar Plum, what up, sweetheart? Yeah, thank you for hanging out, honey. Yeah, we um, love you. So I don't know what we're doing quite yet. We're going to discuss it here after. <laughs> um, so, so two weeks. I know y'all are going to be sad not to see us next week. But we're going to go back on to Renee's when I get back from Colorado. Anything else? Make sure... To watch tomorrow night for our on Renee's channel for our auction. And yes. Then on Tuesday, you say Tuesday? Yes, I'll be on Knickknack on Tuesday at. On, on, so it's through district.net. You can type in knickknacks.net, right? Yeah, April the 2nd, and I am on at 2. 18. Yeah. I'm I'm kicking off. I kick off the train. Um awesome. and Joe and uh, I will have been married 18 yeah, years. Y'all should watch because first. she she did so good the last time for her first did you one. Hear, it, did you hear me? Yes. About my anniversary? Wait, what? I said Joe and I will have been married 18 oh, yeah. years. Oh yeah, I heard that. Heard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, y'all need to come by. Come by and buy some yeah. stuff. She needs extra spending cash for Nashville. She needs to be able to buy yeah. me a margarita. Yeah. Come by. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Beverly. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Uh, anything else, sweetheart? Anything else? Nothing? No. No, no, no. And no, so I'm well, on. Just check out tomorrow, tomorrow, Tuesday, tomorrow, Renee's auction, Tuesday on District or Knickknacks. We love you all. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you appreciate doing game night. Please make sure if to comment if if this is what you like to watch 
Um, if you want more of this, we can do more of these. Yeah, so we're going to try to do this at least once a month. If y'all love it so much, then we'll maybe do it more. But we can, talk, we can talk about poo more if you want. Yeah, poo. What color? What color is your poo? Yeah, I mean, I can get out some poo charts and we can talk about your poo. <laughs> All right, we 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 gonna do our usual. Sing yeah, go ahead. The chat out. Are you yeah, ready? I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. All right. Goodbye, you two bit time. Oh. Goodbye, YouTube. Hope you like the show. Show. Oh. <laughs> We hate to leave you, but we really must say. Why are we staying? Good. <laughs> Goodbye, friends. Goodbye. We'll see you soon. See ya. Peace out.